Pond. And this is uh, another adventure in the pan flute. So we thought we'd, this time we'd give you guys a little bit of history of what's been going on, where it came from, why it has its name. Context. Yeah, so uh, the pan flute originated from the research we've done in ancient Greece, when they still spoke Latin and stuff like that. Uh, it is named after the god Pan. Pan is the god of the wilds, of flocks, wild music, just the outdoors. He often appeared as a satyr, which is a half man, half goat. Top half is a man, bottom half is a goat, and they generally have horns. He is often seen um, as being in the most, the wildest parts of the world. Pan fell, yeah, Pan fell in love with Syrinx, who was a dryad. A dryad is a nature spirit. Um, they come in, you know, different types of tree, all trees and plants and flowers and all that has what is known as a dryad. Pan fell in love with Syrinx. Syrinx had promised herself to Artemis, who is uh, the goddess of maidens as well as the hunt. She is a twin to Apollo, the god of the sun. Um, Artemis would uh, take women under her wing, but if you promised yourself to her, you weren't allowed to fall in love, you weren't allowed to, like, have sex, you weren't allowed to have kids because you were to stay forever a maiden. And um, he felt, Pan fell in love with her and he just would not leave her alone at all. He was just like, yeah, I want you. Persistent. I'm very persistent. That's one word for it. And um, she looked for help and some water nymphs. What they ended up doing was turning her into a weed. And Pan, in his anger, just went, huh! And he blew across the top of the, these reeds and really liked the sound. So what he did was he took it with his knife and he cut them and then he glued them together using some wax. And he named it a syrinx after... Syrinx. The, yeah, the syrinx. Uh, so it was basically the everyman, every man's instrument uh, because, I mean, reeds were relatively easy to find or, you know, whatever you had um, that you could blow across and wax was relatively accessible. Yeah. Uh, so it was the shepherd's instrument, they would play it for their flocks, and it was just kind of everywhere. And then colonization happened when the Greeks kind of expanded over everything. Yeah. So basically every culture kind of has one in some context or another. Yeah. Uh, whether it's directly re related from colonization or even predates those particular pan flutes, most cultures have some have version of it. Some version of it. Yeah. Uh, our particular pan flute seems to be most related to an Andean pan flute, which is from the Andes Mountain region of South America. Um, though we didn't specifically set out to make no, um, a South American pan flute. We just, just googled uh, pan, er, how to make pan flute and we found an instructable. And it was like, here's the pan flute. And we're like, this is much easier than trying to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. So we followed the instructions. Um, ours is set up in chromatic yeah. tone. A lot is diatonic. Diatonic, diatonic meaning um, in an eight note scale, often heard Western music. Um, and the reason it looks very similar to the popularized pan flute, uh, which is actually a Romanian pan flute. Um, the Romanian pan flute has a curve to it like that. Uh, ours is straight. Yeah, I find ours trying to curve it would have just been way too much yeah. of a hassle. So it was, I mean, it is the every man's instrument. It comes down to what can I do yeah. with what I have. So, I mean, that's what we did with what we had. Yeah, we also, after doing some more research, found out that um, sometimes they would just arrange them in a random order, and that just wasn't really going to work for yeah. Ponder Eye, so we were like, we're going to do something we're familiar with. Uh, we also found an interesting quote on that point uh, that was, that is the scale of the syrinx found in all parts of the earth, the scale that arises naturally out of the conditions. But there is no reason, of course, why somebody should not make a syrinx tomorrow and give it any scale he pleased. So, I mean, essentially, you can do whatever scale in whatever order. It doesn't even have to be a scale, it could just be notes. Make up a scale. Yeah. It's a really open-ended instrument. So that's... Yeah, that's the brief history of the, the pan flute. That's a, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's it. So have a great day.